Hello, my Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. Welcome to your brand new series, uh, The Timeless uh, True Love Timeline Reads. For the Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers, I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. They're just my initials, professional witch professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. May 1st, at the time of this recording, we will be 25 years in business. Ooh, so exciting. And I am the author of Words of Grace from A Professional Witch. It is available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box, and there's all sorts of prayers and practices, and it's actually a really fun book, my book, Words of Grace, and give you some clues, tips, and hints about how I made it 25 years uh, self-employed with an S corporation. Uh, and I was raised by a Cancerian mother, so uh, the dedication is to my Cancerian mother, and if you click the link, you can preview the book for free. But if you're going down to the description box, how can you not click on my Patreon? Just go check the menu, my members-only subscription platform. We have eight levels of subscription at the time of this timeless recording. Seekers, humans, heroes, angels, witches, mystics, immortals, gods, goddesses is the top tier. They get everything. Seekers, $3 a month uh, gets you uh, the daily check-ins, an unlisted YouTube live stream link. So we chat every morning. It's so much fun. I love it. Uh, talking about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications always ending with a little prayer, a little spell, a little blessing, a little something, something to send us on our way. And it is my favorite way to start the day. And yeah, I'm kind of digging that that rhymes. Uh, as well as all of my subscribers from Seeker to God Goddess get all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. So if you are looking for a deeper dive, I am I'm a Pisces moon. Virgo sun, but Pisces moon, born on a full moon. Uh, more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more mal in your life. Click the link, please see the menu, and come Patreon on Patreon, should you feel so intuitively drawn, my beloveds, because <laughs> I am the Archangel of Lions. Mark Angelo Lions, son of a Cancerian crab bomb. But you can call me Mal, because it's easier, and it's way more fun, and most of my close friends do. Boom, shall we? My mom won't, though. She will never call me Mal. <laughs> That's okay. Let's talk about this reading, though, shall we? It is a true love timeline read, past, present, future, general read, blah, blah, blah. Only seven cards. Yes, I do. The path of true love reads with extended. They are juggernauts. The romantic soulmate contract reads with extended are juggernauts, and I'm going to be traveling to see my Cancerian mother next week. So I have done these readings for my Myself and for friends kind of casually over the decades, past, present, future. Uh, so my guides are like, do that. They're easier, they're faster. And, you know, if people want more, they can uh, look at the other timeless true love reads, etc. I said, okay. So you're actually getting seven cards. Three Daughters of the Moon Tarot for the inside world, heart, th third eye, crown chakras. You're getting three Mythic Tarot for the lower three chakras, the masculine energy, mm, devil at the bottom of the deck. I don't do that for YouTube reads, by the way. Uh, 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 and then one wild card uh, from a deck chosen intuitively, and I was just maybe 10 minutes ago doing the prayer and the meditation. I do breath work before every video I do. And they were like the whispers of Lord Ganesh to help remove obstacles uh, on the true love timeline. Look, there are lots of links in the description box talking about true love and soul contracts and, you know, a twin flame soulmate, all that jazz. Check it out, because uh, uh, this may or may not be a romantic read, because the bottom line is, is the path of true love, the true love timeline, which is really making the most wise, loving, empowered, compassion choices, compassionate choices and decisions you can make, on your hero's journey of spiritual awakening, healing, right, whatever you want to call it, being the true love that you are, because you are the common denominator in all of your relationships. Heal one, even a little bit inside of yourself. You heal all of it a little bit, and you're helping all of us do so. So cross-watchers, right? Chances are there are people cross-watching to see what the Cancerians are going through. So look, you'll get some information. You'll get some inspiration, maybe. But hopefully you walk away with this from some compassion, particularly to maybe help and support them remove their obstacles on uh, the timeless <laughs> true love timeline, uh, which will benefit really all of life. So... Enough explanation, let's get down to divination. Both feet on the floor if you can, focus on your breath if you will, and I promise I will do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help you traverse 
the true love timeline, regardless of who crosses your path. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. Mm. Here we go. Using the Daughters of the Moon Tarot. I call upon the goddesses, my goddesses, our goddesses of true love for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Oh, that feels good watching this video drawn to this reading. Where have they been uh, in the true love timeline? Where are they now on the true love timeline? Internal, internal, heart, third, third eye, crown, dynamic. Where are they headed? in the timeless uh, true love timeline of this lifetime anchoring true love through their own healing process uh, uh, using their creative intuition their heart their third eye crown and most loving wise empowered compassionate decisions on the true love timeline etc 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 we're gonna their face down we're gonna do the same with the mythic tarot. This is from the outside in, looking at yourself, or the inside out, looking out at people, places, and things, because the lower three chakras, masculine energy, yang dynamic, is about relationships in the world, including your relationship to yourself. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon my gods of true love, please, three cards in clarity for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video drawn to this uh, reading. Where have they been? Lower three chakra dynamic, inside out, outside in, relationships in the physical world. Yeah, where have they been uh, in the true love timeline? Where are they now? in the true love timeline and where are they headed in the true love timeline in this timeless true love timeline read eventually the muscle memory of my mouths will be able my mouths i only have the one that i'm aware of you never know life is a mystery all of us must stand alone oh wow I changed the camera angle so you can't see the cards. Oh, wow, a lot of Major Arcana. Okay, let's get in. Where have you been? Well, you got two Major Arcana. And before I show you what these are, because they're not in the title, uh, when it's a Major Arcana card for a chakric zone or a level of power, Carolyn Mace, long story, uh, uh, it, it's all of those chakras working in unison. So on the inside, you've got the Wheel of Fortune in the past. You went through something destined, scripted. You might have hated it. You might have been kicking and screaming but it was written. It was a divine timing thing. Now, the thing about divine timing, we're talking about the true love timeline. The more you tap into that true love timeline, yeah, it's harder in some ways. You know, you have to like forgive and heal and stuff. Ugh. Right heart, third, third eye crown psychologically in the internal world. Where do you see this? Uh, uh, but it's destined. Well, you're handed fate on the hero's journey, on the, on the true love timeline, uh, uh, which is led, you can't change it, but you can alchemize it, right? To gold, from fate to destiny. So uh, the spider woman, the life weaver, uh, which is a rather, rather ancient creation, a goddess vibe going on there, crossed with Dionysus, the fool, card, <laughs> the Greek god of wine, the god of ecstasy, and my natal patron. <laughs> I'm a dominant Dionysus archetype. Gods in every man, Gene Shinoda Bolin. Read the chapter, you'll go, oh yeah, that's him. Okay, so when we put these two together, what we are saying is that this is probably you from the outside looking in. You took a leap of faith here, and it was time. I mean, that's simple, not easy. Let's keep going. Let's see, because I think you're going to like this, but not at first, because inside this totally, this is like Course in Miracles 101, where you are right now, oppression on the inner half of the devil card. It's a feminist deck. They're not going to use patriarchal imagery like the devil. What they are going to do is split it into two different cards. The other one being Coyote Woman, the trickster, shadow work. This is oppression. This is a woman who uh, is in a burning village uh, covered by rocks. Now, the thing is, those rocks have faces on them, so that can be societal fears, right? The internal stuff that maybe not everybody knows about. Regardless, there is something oppressing you. That is the lead in the alchemical equation 
three atoms in between lead and gold that in other readings, if you've been watching me for a while, Lord Ganesh gives you a tip on how to what? Remove those obstacles. Uh, Elephant-headed Hindu god of success, prosperity, and remover of obstacles. Now, what makes me think this might be leaning in to... Um, an emotional thing for a water sign, lower three chakras could be actually a person. The Knight of Cups, that's mutable water, Pisces. All four of the knights in the tarot travel at different speeds on their horses, right? Gemini's mutable air, swords, gallops. Sagittarius, a uh, uh, knight of wands, canters, if you've ever, you know, ridden a horse, you know, the different speeds. So Pisces is mutable water. Trot, you know, it's hot to trot, kind of like clopping along, having a good time, right? And Virgo mutable earth is walk. It's actually moving. It's just slow. Slow and steady wins the race. With Pisces here, if this is you from the outside in, absolutely have a look and see what planets are in the sign of Pisces in your natal chart. There might be some information there that might make this a little bit more specific for you. Or it could be you are dealing with somebody who has that Pisces vibe. Now, I will say, oh, carrying the, the Ace of Cups in the hand, delivering some kind of message. But you are a water sign, so even if you don't have that sort of uh, Piscean planetary who's what's this going on aspects whatever it might very well be telling you pay attention to your intuition on the ground trot along you don't have to crawl but you can trot along you can kind of clip clop down uh, the timeline as it were paying really close attention to what you're feeling in your lower three chakras because there's something here that's holding you back and it's usually fear now another way to look at this you get a romantic proposal. Mm? Uh, the night, dreamy, right, comes in and you're like, no, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> don't want to, no, don't like it, right? Because of fear, because of uh, things in the past. But remember, this may not be a romantic read for everybody. Uh, that could be all sorts of intuitive information. Somebody brings you something emotional uh, in terms of the seed, the ace of cups. So look at what's holding you back on the inside. Knight of Cups on the outside doesn't usually feel like too much of an oppressor. Being a Pisces moon myself, although the emotional empathic stuff can be quite oppressive. Oh yeah, you're Cancerians. You might be picking up intuitive stuff like <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, empathic flood surge warning, right? Where you're feeling everybody's everything and it's triggering you like crazy on the inside. But you've got momentum going here. So I think this, the, what, where you're headed for is going to be a rather intense but temporary. We'll get there. You got the strength card. You've got major arcana cards on the inner across the timeline here. So strength is courage, right? Courage, mon amour, right? All four of those uh, chakras unifying with the bravery and the courage of, of your heart, which of course would come by facing with and dealing with the fears, the chains that bind you on the inside as you're kind of trotting down the road, you know, doing doing the Adina Monsoon song. Uh, uh, and because on the outside, you're going to need that big time to follow your heart in a Five of Cups. Something is revealed that may be emotionally upsetting. This is the myth of Eros and Psyche where she um, she breaks a promise to her at that point husband Eros, the god of love, son of Aphrodite. He wants her to love him as he is without seeing what he looks like, which is dicey for starters, but you know, they're gods, the god of erotic love, and she agrees and she marries him and she, she, she puts her up in a castle, right? Her sisters come to visit and put some poison in her ear, her ear in terms of gossip. How do you know? How do you know? God, you don't know that. You don't know that. We all have those people in our lives where we're trying to be brave and bold and wiser, hard, tough, stronger, cool, calm, keeping it together. Well, 
all we know, all we know is love will save the day when she accidentally drops a bit of oil on his thigh, wakes him up, she sees him, and falls in love with him like never before, even though they're married. You know, dude, times were tricky in the ancient times. So, yeah, there's an emotional revelation here of some kind. It need not be detrimental. Five of cups are usually seen as heartbreak and disappointment, right? Four cups spilled, but one cup still standing. There could be emotional release here. This could actually actually be a situation, if not a relationship, where things are revealed to you that shake you a little bit emotionally. But if you do, it seems like your leverage is really in the present moment. Point of power is always in the present moment. To really go with the flow here on the outside, be mutable water Pisces on the outer, while you face, who are these faces on these stones for you? Could be past life, could be this life, could be all sorts of sorts of, but you did jump off a cliff with the fool there, and it was perfect timing. So this does make sense, right? Something's coming, but it could be great. Don't know yet. Let's ask Lord Ganesh. I love this deck. I've been cultivating a relationship with uh, uh, Ganesh. Ganesha for, for a really, really, really long time here and there. I love him. I love elephants. Uh, and I'm a lion, and lion and elephants usually have very much the mutual respect society, right? So uh, let's see what he has to say about removing any obstacles, which one would think with oppression on the inner where you are right now could be helpful. Ready? Oh, I love this. Oh, a Angela Hartfield. I always like to mention the author of Blue Angel Publishing. I adore this deck. The artwork is gorgeous, and what's written there is very well done and rare. Please take a nice deep breath. No, I'm not a medium. I'm a large. Still bleed. <laughs> Let's keep our sense of humor, folks. Ganesh really likes that. Still point. As I call to the beloved Lord Ganesh, Hindu god of success, prosperity, and remover of obstacles, please one card in clarity for the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, drawn to this reading, what is your guidance, your grace, your love, your wisdom, your oracle message to help them remove the obstacles uh, on their hero's journey, their healing journey, their spiritual awakening path in the true love timeline for this timeless true love timeline read. Belonging. 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 Card number 41. This is the one where he is riding the mouse, which sounds like a sexual position. <laughs> it doesn't sound like fun, though. Uh, <laughs> card number 41. Uh, the mouse representing the ego. Now we have the ego, the personality, the soul, and the higher self. Human, hero, immortal, God, right? We are all of those simultaneously, but level of consciousness. So belonging... According to Maslow, Maslow's period, I think, uh, pyramid, <laughs> Maslow's period, <laughs> sorry, I have to keep myself uh, in the funny to pull these off some days, and today is one of those days. Uh, Maslow's pyramid, I think belonging is pretty close to the peak of that pyramid of fulfillment. I could be wrong. Card number 41, learn to find security from within. Oppression on the inner flow with it. In this card, Ganesha uses the mouse as his vehicle, which signifies his triumph over the ego. In Hindu mythology, the mouse symbolizes the ego, for the ego can eat away that all that's good and decent in a person. Right like that. Uh, belonging seeks to solve the predicament of the ego's own perceived separation. Perceived, not actual. Perceived. Right? It's like Russian stacking dolls, right? It's, it's part of the spectrum uh, from spirit into form. Since the ego has no conscious memory of its connection to others and to source, you experience a need to get out of seclusion by bonding with people around you. These people can be your family, peer groups, or your community. Okay, I think I'm getting what this is about. The ego is, ne is neither 
let's say neither good nor bad. It is simply a necessary part of you in this existence. The ego can manifest inclinations that are either more positive or more negative in nature. That's the alchemy from lead to gold. There are many positive aspects to belonging. You develop your ability to love, connect, bond, share, and care for others, which is very Cancerian, the mothers of the zodiac. Uh, you see yourself more clearly through the mirror of relationships. It is important in belonging that you do not try to seek approval through others. Through this card, Ganesha is here to help you focus on the positive feelings from being part of a community. Learn to trust, ask for help, and to rely on others. Lillian Carter, and you are. <laughs> Can't help. When you talk to people you love that are Cancerians, and you're doing the Cancerian reign, it's just bam. So look, the fear of trotting into the world with emotional mutability, maybe vulnerability, you got to feel your way through. Do you understand that these rocks in oppression are not necessarily all about the present moment? It could be things that you were destined to deal with, some lead to alchemize from gold, releasing those three atoms in between, going from heavier to lighter, toxic to healthy, and all of that. So, your seven cards are on the table. Yeah, I bet there is going to be some emotional upset going on here. Because sometimes when you free yourself from oppression, and remember, this could be yesterday, today, tomorrow, last year, this year, next year, whatever. Uh, as you do that, as you free yourself from the ties that bind, codependent time uh, binds, right? wounds of abuse, neglect, codependence, and loss, you shift, you alchemize. And sometimes people don't want to come along, and it upsets people when they can no longer control you using guilt. Just as an example. So, let's do what I always do at the end of these, a blessimation, a combination of a blessing and a summation to weave it all together, where I essentially let the divine do it through me. I never know quite what's going to come out of my mouth. And at the end of that, the reading will be over, but if you want to hang, we'll chat a little bit about if you want reads and all that. And I let any excess goofy that needs to come through, come through. Please take a nice deep breath. Did I mention my mother was a nursery school teacher? I feel seen. Still point. And here we go. I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine. For the Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video, drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need in the true love timeline, because where they have been, they did not make a mistake jumping off this cliff, taking the risk, and uh, moving into the fool's journey of the tarot and the hero's journey of true love, because it was time. It is fate. What they do with that fate depends on their alchemy from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, and certainly where they are. With oppression on the inner, there it is. That's where the blockages are. They are within, and so to flow, to pay attention to the intuition, as well as maybe there is somebody here offering a cup of love, an opportunity in some way, shape, or form, a seed of water, a seed of emotion that might be triggering some stuff from the past. Well, if they can deal with that, move forward, flow with it emotionally as best as they can, yeah, there will be some water spilt. There will see fives are numbers of change numerologically, so of course there will be some emotional changes going on, but all is not lost because there is courage developed here, heart, third, third eye crown all about belonging, about allowing the ego to explore and connect with others. So true love timeline that may involve more than one person, maybe community, maybe friends, maybe family, maybe all of that with a side of Cancerian crab fries. So may they be blessed with all that they need to traverse the true love timeline, anchoring true love into the Earth's electromagnetic field, breaking all curses healing all wounds, conquering all for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it, so let it be done so mode be and so it is, it was good it, was, it makes sense, I like these reads a lot, they do feel a little bit like party tricks because I'm used to doing the Jagunda readings right? <laughs> like 10 hours later uh, so this was lovely and I hope you liked it and if you liked it subscribe, you know, hit the like button comment and I would like to know what your scenario is here uh, uh, and I'm also on Patreon, right? One leads to the other. 
go check it out. I'm not stopping. I love my Patreon. And uh, just last night, we did an exclusive workshop for the witches, the mystics, and the gods, goddesses on the witch archetype, talking about the queen and the crone archetype as witch. It was amazing. So go check it out. Come Patreon on Patreon. And if you want to book me for a private reading, though, this is a timeless read. May 1st, my company's turning 25 years old. I've been $100 an hour flat rate, one person or a party for 25 years. I'm upping my prices. But if you book me now, I will honor the $100 an hour uh, uh, flat rate that I do. Even if you book it for after May 1st, I will honor that price. So there's a link in the description box, booking your reading with Mal. Enjoy it while you can, because I have to remake it before May 1st. <laughs> Otherwise, wishing you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed on the True Love Timeline. I'm doing my best to surf it. And if I helped you, good gods, have fun with it. I love you. Heal, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.